Could it have been negotiated more cheaply at the beginning? Yes, it could. So to that extent, it's not as good a deal for taxpayers as it has been for patients. It is a great deal for patients, there's no doubt about that. And we have made this hospital work. You know, we're delivering care at a low cost in this hospital. David, let's get awkward and talk figures. It costs £225 million to build this building. We've been told that over the cost of the contract, you'll end up paying a whopping £1.3 billion. How can that be in the best interest of taxpayers' money? Well, I have no idea where you got those figures from, to be honest with you. But to be absolutely clear, we pay a unitary payment of about £30 million a year for the privilege of being in this, in this building. Uh, it is maintained to a very high level. We outsource many of our services on an arm's length basis and we get very good terms for that. So I, I, I don't recognise your £1.3 billion. OK, that comes from the House of Commons Public Accounts Committee that reckon that over the term of 30 years on your contract that you'll pay £1.3 billion. Well, you know, it, co it costs a lot of money to run and maintain hospitals, so it probably costs that much to, to over a 40-year over a period to run any hospital. So, I mean, it's a kind of a nonsense figure that gets banded around by people who don't know what they're talking about.